In Ecuador, it's relatively new, the concept of bioeconomy, so we need to understand a little bit more what other countries are doing, what are the successes, and of course, what are the failures as well. BioInnovate Africa program is so far the largest uh, regional bioeconomy platform in Eastern Africa, involving six countries, Burundi, Ethiopia, Kenya, Rwanda, Tanzania, and Uganda. Coming to a summit like this, a global bioeconomy summit, where you meet you know, different people, it helps us to make the connections and to begin a conversation that should lead to hopefully a good uh, partnership. Thailand is one of the, one of the major producers. You, you create a lot of biomass, but at the same time also create a lot of bio waste. So, uh, you know, how can you, you know, and now it's a policy of, of uh, one of the key policies for Thailand is to make a zero waste. very mundane, but as someone who has worked at the bench and tried to build uh, biological systems to do a particular thing, I really like automation. I really like um, quantitative measurement systems. I really like quantitative analytical systems because that's the foundation of engineering. That's how you get from, I think I want to build an organism that displaces a petrochemical from the market to actually being able to build that organism and to make that chemical and thereby displace petroleum from the world. Well, this is a great summit because it's actually bringing together people from many, many different backgrounds. And I think these types of conversations and dialogues are really, really important. It's important, for instance, for industry to be interacting with academics or with NGOs. We don't always have the same viewpoint, and I think discussion is the best way to really get a kind of consistent path forward. I think that bioeconomy has to be uh, about bottom-up innovation. So that means that every citizen can potentially become a scientist, can potentially become an entrepreneur using these technologies, and that's how you can actually make sure that the bioeconomy is not seen as a very vague concept or something very elitist. That you know, when every citizen and you know in the country can actually become what we call a prosumer, that is, they can produce and consume innovation at the same time, then they will understand that the bioeconomy is not something theoretical, it's something that is practical and maybe even fun because they're actually actively participating in building this bioeconomy. to continuing uh, to continue sharing sharing our expertise best practices uh, that taking place in different continents we need to have a global view and uh, this allow us to uh, to develop also locally more robust strategy I 
think it's we are just at the very beginning and we have to see what the other is doing and for example if you come to the exhibition here you can already feel the flavor how creative people who are working in this huge concept are what i somehow kind of observe is that these products that we see are very much matching the world that we are living in now and kind of trying to fit the needs that we that we already have and just replace products we already have what i really would like to see are these in-betweens, like these uncanny things that the new technologies would bring with it. I think the highest potential of bioeconomy is the um, use in a circular economy. So to reuse it again in a carbon natural way, just as the nature is doing. I believe it's the um, new perspectives uh, to reduce malnutrition and um, uh, to collaborate uh, international discussion about economics and science uh, all over the world. Everything very well organized. German precision came to play. I enjoyed it. All the topics, all the people, yeah.